Welcome back to the stream, everyone. We'll be starting real soon here with uh, the first uh, go at Die in the Dungeon Origins. I'm going into this uh, completely unspoiled. But I will admit, I have seen a couple of... A couple of teasers in the Die in the Dungeon Discord. I don't know what to make of them, though. This is, this is very exciting. I've been following Die in the Dungeons for a long time. Back before it was even called the Die in the Dungeons Prologue. I'm very much looking forward to this. And from what I can tell, there's going to be another game after this one, which would be considered the full Die in the Dungeon experience. Should be should be a very exciting time on the channel. Anyway, I'll be right back. Just got a couple more things to do to prep. Let's play. Ah, no. There we go. Okay. Now it's showing up. All right. You run. Welcome to Die in the Dungeon. We recommend pressing the tutorial button to understand the basics of the game before playing. 
All right. Interesting. You can see right off the bat one of the big changes. Not only is this a different main character. Oh, whoa! The the die board is different too. It's huh. Okay. Okay. But also, you can see, it looks like the enemy is showing how much it's going to attack you. Aww. Now a little idle animation. It's adorable. You know what? Uh, sure. Let's hit the tutorial button. I know there's stuff in this... in this game that will be different from... uh, Prologue. So let's see if this teaches us anything new. I, I am aware that there are relics in the game. Because that's something that was discussed in promotional material. Um, inside Prologue, actually. I like the battle theme. You forgot your training. Well, I guess I can... Wait, you are... It is an honor, sir. In need of a quick rundown. Yeah, yes, I'll do it at once. First, let's roll some dice from your draw pile into your hand. Sounds good, sounds good. I know what all of these do. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure I know what all of these do. There's a little energy gem. It's under the bar this time, instead of above the uh, board. Okay, now grab your dice and drop them on the board to use them. I uh, see each color represents a different action in battle. The basic actions are attack, block, and heal. You can hover over the dice to get information. Fight with that one over there. Glass weapon. How can you tell it's... Yeah, I see. Yeah, that's right. You, you, you can tell it's glass. It's got a little shine to it. A bit of too overwhelming? Don't worry, let's break it down from left to right. Here's the dice type. The type indicates the action the dice will do when used. Next are all of the faces that the dice can roll, including the active one. Finally, some dice have special properties that modify the way they work. But enough with the theory, let's put some more dice on the board. Well, I don't need to heal yet. Hold on, you just run out of energy points. You've... That should be you've just run out of energy points, or you have just run out of energy points, or you've... Or you just ran out of energy points, but... Uh, I'm getting too nitpicky. That means you can't place any more dice on the board. The energy points under your hand indicate the number of the dice you can use per turn. Move the dice back into your hand or recover energy points. Try it. Well done. I think it's time I let you decide which dice you want to use this turn. Put the dice you want to use on the board and press finish when ready. When the finish button is pressed, you will see the turn play out. Bam! Ouch. You alright? Sorry, forgot to tell you enemies will move after you. You can check the icons around the enemy's HP to know their intent. That is, their actions for the next turn. So it looks like you can roll different numbers. That sword icon in indicates the enemy is planning to attack. Uh, but moving on, let's draw dice into your hand one more time. Oh, see those purple dice over there? It's a new dice type. They're called boost dice. They can be used to make other dice stronger. Grab one and put it on the board just to see what happens. See that? Boost dice will target certain slots on the board. The value of boost dice indicates how many slots away they are boosting. The same value will be added to the target dice. Right? This makes... This makes them very strong. Previously, if you put a 2 in a position like this, it would only boost 3 spaces. Here it's boosting 5. Let's boost a heal die because we can. Nice, see how the total value right below the dice just got higher. Combining dice together like that is the key to success. Okay, time to finish this. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? With the right combination, you can take out that enemy with a single blow. Yeah, he wants me to boost an attack die twice instead of healing. Eh, maybe I should uh, dupe the tutorial, heal a little bit. Target your attack dice with boost dice. Okay, fine. You're not playing. Wow! Nice attack animation. Well done, you finally look like the legendary hero again. I think it's time to go back to the real thing. Good luck! 
All right, no new information, exactly. But a nice introduction to the UI. Attack for three, so that should uh, save me from that. I should be able to see... Discard an exile. Interesting. And you can see the relics, too. Yep. I was aware there would be relics. Well, I am. One new die, increase max HP. Let's get a new die. Basic attack die, basic last terrain die, basic hollow mirror die. Last terrain die, huh? That doesn't seem ideal, but... Actually, hollow dice could be really interesting with this new board setup. Alright. Uh, I can't tell if you're, what, what you are in relation to the original game. Alright. Let's put up some extra block. And some attacks. Oh, no! Are you one of the healing mobs? You are, aren't you? Mirror dice, but it's hollow, so I can pop it on the board without worrying about it. Put up some more dice, and finish you off. No, oh, I like that animation. This is sick. Oh, this is so sick. I don't have a block. That's fine, I can heal after this. Yowch. Actually, I can attack and be done. Bam. Get one new die or discard a die. Let's get rid of one basic boost to die. First time facing an event? No worries, I'll explain how they work. Events are encounters where you choose an option and choose your dice to use your dice to proceed. Options are presented here. In order to select an option, you'll first need to fill their slots with suitable dice. Check that one, just to see. Yeah, it's blue. I can figure... Drop the dice of type block here. Okay. Slot requirements. Like glass or nothing at all. Ooh, so you may benefit from having glass dice on you. Fascinating. Just hover over them. See, here you can see their potential outcomes. Success and failure. But what determines the outcome? Rolling the dice! Oh, snap! Drop any dice here. Some sort of black smith station. It was abandoned in a hurry, so there might be something useful inside. Oh, it's it's sixes, not fours anymore. Okay. I should have paid attention to that. Okay. So when a one in three chance I roll a six. I imagine this is generally scripted. You know, blacksmith station was abandoned in a hurry, so there might be something useful inside. And that one can roll a three. That can also roll a three. These are stuck down in twos, so I'll put in a basic boost die. Great, now we're ready to select the option, but something is missing. You see that yellow number at the top? That's the target roll of this event. The total roll reaches the target roll of success. Let's look for something of value. Yes, success! Your total roll is equal or greater than the target roll, so you can now receive your reward. Choose between three common relics. Looks like they left some values behind. That was too easy. Let's see how you do on your own. Oh, no. Look for any survivors. I can heal, or I can trigger a battle. Hmm. Choose between three silver dice. Choose between three common dice. Let's get into the relics. I wanna, I wanna experience that. 
Yeah. Okay. Nice. Seems like you got the gist of it. Now you're on your own, but remember, click me if you ever need help. Transparent prism. Use three more different types of dice. Draw plus one dice next turn. Ooh. Every third die of the same type you place on the board will cost no energy. Ooh. If you have any remaining block at the end of the turn, heal one HP. Ooh. This one might be best at keeping me alive. Shiny artifact, get your first relic. Nice. And I want to stay alive as long as possible to experience as much of this game as I can. So this is going to mirror whatever I put over here. Two times two. I can put up eight more. Hey, hey. Oh, the block goes away! That's very different. I bet I mean I mean I bet there's a relic that causes it to stay, but Oh man, that's oh man. I should just finish you off. You're pulling out a, a stronger attack. New die, discard die, let's get a new die. Basic glass prism dice. Or a basic mirror dice. It's not hollow though. When targeted extends the targeting effect to its own targets. Oh snap, that's actually really good. Slow down for a moment. This enemy is special. See that icon over there? Icons like that indicate the enemy has a modifier. Come on, hover over it. Uh, infected. Alright, alright. That slot is infected. The infected effect will expand the next turn if not covered with dice. Ooh. Reduce boost dice. Aha! Wait. Why? Why plus four? Let me heal. is better. It would seem, in the way it handles moving things around. Upgrade two dice to silver tier. One, two, three, 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 four. Hmm. I like the twos. Let's make the hollow die better. Yeah. That seems reasonable. 
while life will keep a die on the board. Yep. But I can't, I can't help that one. And just that one. Oh, snap! I'm boosting them! Oh, that is so cool! That wasn't a thing before! Oh, man. That's good to know. Now both of these are boosted by eight. Two from that. Or from that. That's... I don't know exactly how the math on that works out. But I guess I'm not complaining. I'll say that. I don't need it this turn. Okay. Now you're thinking with mirrors. Combine a prism die with a mirror die. Okay. I don't actually have anything that it can do, but if I boost that one with a three, then it would boost that one with a, wait, no, and it would boost that one with a three, two, and it, both of these would be affected from a die here. It would... Okay, it, it would actually boost a lot of the squares on the board. So if you're going for a hollow build or a heavy build where you can put a ton of stuff on the board, that would actually be pretty insane. But uh, for now, let's put up enough block to deal with that guy. And a little bit of attack. There you go. Okay. And that should finish you off. Prism die was a good investment, I think. Choose one new relic. Oh, nice. Crooked hourglass. The dice in your hand at the end of the roll against their highest possible face. No way! That's the heavy poverty won't decrease if you have any leftover energy. Let's take the hourglass. Ooh. Nice possible values, you say. Put up five block, it is not enough. to shield against these guys somehow. This game strikes me that it's probably to be a lot tougher. And this two is the highest face you can manage. Okay. This game is gonna be very hard. Oh no. I grant hollow to die. Let's grant hollow to the silver 
Purple Black. Make it better. Maybe I can get Block off more often. Five plus. You hear some faint cries for help. Upon reaching a source, you encounter a dying soldier begging you for some water. Search for water around you. Try to heal him. It's between relics and no reward. Two uncommon relics. Get battle rewards. Okay. Oh, finish my... Oh. Try to heal him. Okay, so... If I roll a 1 or a 2 times 2, that won't do it. I, uh, I, If I put this die in, I would only have... Drop any dice here. If I try to... Uh, I'd have a 1 in 3 chance of successfully healing him. Because only the 3 times 2 would be, be 5 or more. Hmm. So I could take a 1 in 3 chance of... Uncommon relics. A choice to choose from. Or I could take I think I'll search for water around me. He's asking for water, I'll bring him water. Alright. That's a pass. Find a nearby stream of water and carry some over to the soldier. Between grateful words, he give you, gives you one of his belongings as a reward. Suppressing I, target enemy receives minus one to all their attacks. Heal two HP at the end of a battle. At the end of a battle. Hmm. I have another method of healing in battle. Let's debuff the enemies. Oh, you're one of the tough ones, aren't you? Oh, heck. They will literally kill me this turn if I don't do something about it. Plus four. And over here, too. Nice. Alright, so that should heal me for a bunch and also block off all of their damage. So the couch run. I don't want to boost you. Put up another eight block. Or I can put up four block and not finish off the enemy. Let me heal, and I can get off some damage on the fly. There we go. You're gonna attack me for six, aren't you? And I'm gonna heal off of this one. You know what? I'll farm you for heals. heal this turn, so I will finish you off. Start a die, get a new die. Get a new die. Basic grow attack die! First grow dice! Let's do this. Tasty. When killed, we'll grant plus two block to the player. Okay. 
that's hollow. Put up six block. And heal. No, not heal. Not that one. It will heal you. Yeah, that's what the couch is doing. This will successfully block the enemy attack. And heal me. That's... Uh, one times two or two times two. That seems like a critical choice to make. I think I have to target this one, even though finishing off the other one would be nice. like the best course of uh, course of action. Okay, two dice to silver tier. Let's take the grow dice and boost it and uh die boost it. That should be helpful. Just shielding now. That's actually that's actually a nerf to you. If that is the case. Okay, sometimes your attack, but not both at once. targeting you that, which, oh, that's what it means by using the prism dice with the mirror. That's sick. So 9 and 12, then. Let's put up 2 block. This is fun. Oh, and their shield goes away. That's another nerf. That's, that's probably very good, because those things were annoying. Hard to see the outline, but Not a loop. Bam, it finished off. Could have probably farmed for more help. Discard a dud attack. And get a new good But I can focus on you, and you won't deal 5 damage to me, so I feel good about that. Yeah. 
<laughs> you do nothing. Oh. Interesting. I wonder if it just slightly low rolled last time or what? Strategy, but I don't think that's something that I can do under the circumstances, seeing as I know so little about this. And you have no one to block now, so you're just going to attack the turn, right? Turn the game speed up. At some point, follow me. with the glass property won't break if you have any leftover energy at the end of the turn. Ooh. I like the idea of getting more dice out there. So let's get more dice in our in our draw. In, uh, in, in our hand. Alright, so turn one. Six dice to choose from. Six, uh, this is uh, Be okay. Now it's just a cricket left. And you can block yourself. Now 
is going to be rough. Mm, an elite archer type. Die, let's try to get a new die, gold terrain die, gold, gold silver heavy block dice. Boost die going four to six now. That's pretty crazy. Let's try it. sound disrupts the room's quietness right after you hear the whizzing of countless arrows heading towards you. Okay, get a shield. got this one, because this one is minimum four. And then this one is minimum two, so there's only a one in six chance we... No, but because this one is doubled, I can just create a shield. Alright. The shield manages to hold off the deadly arrows. An interesting trap. Traversing through the dungeon, you stumble upon golden bubbles floating around an empty area. The whole picture gives a mystifying. Search for the source, touch some bubbles... Five max HP or no reward. Choose between three relics or no reward. Heal 10 HP or no reward. Let's touch some bubbles. Times three and oh, I'm guaranteed to get this. I'm guaranteed to get this because I put in this is minimum four. It multiplies it by three. That's already uh, 12. Let's touch some bubbles. Bubble pops. After a brief shock, you notice something glowing next to where the bubble used to be. Used to be Transparent prism. If you use three more, uh, I've seen that one already. The evil scope. Accurate kills will heal you. Ooh. Liquid karma. Ice will always roll its lowest face on odd turns. You receive plus one energy on even turns. Hmm. That's interesting because I'm buffing odd turns already. So then debuffing the odd turns like an anti-synergy. But if I leave them on the odd turns, then on the even turns, they'll all be their max value. And that's when I get the plus one energy. Let's do it. Okay. 
Oh boy, a red one. Oh, it's and the vile guy is back. and attack dice should both roll to their highest property. to finish you off. And I'm not putting up nearly enough block to make up for that. Wait, no. I can do this. Sure. Ouch. Ouch. I'm having a rough time of it. Leave those be for now. 
five stones. Dice blocks will re-roll to their highest value, and the boost die will re-roll to its highest value. Could finish you off right now. Or I could heal. I'll do that. Come be chair. Help me. So I do heal here. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh goodness gracious. You are a nasty piece of work, aren't you? I have to deal damage too. I'm sure there are other interactions that I'm not aware of just yet. Punches mean nothing to me. Not when I have this grow die here. Not when you're all alive, I should say. You are a piece of work when you are. Oh,
those so that they roll into the better versions and give me more dice to work with. Yeah. Uh, buff both of those. There we go. Whew, choose a new relic. Survival kit. Keep up to one energy between turns. Okay. Get offered plus one rewards at the end of a non-boss battle. Scavenger beak. If I keep an energy from... This one might synergize one of my five. I feel like we're getting close to a boss, though. This is around the point where the first boss was in... in a prologue. One or two more spaces. Okay. But he doesn't he, he doesn't add an additional one. Alright. more than they have any right to be given the hassle that they are. in general. Oh, goodness gracious. What are you? Small opening. Attack dice on this slot and target the scorpion wagger. 
corrupted talent are tightly protected by its mouth. It reciprocates with powerful defensive magic. Okay, so you're gonna defend the scorpion. Scorpion not a fearsome beast coming to fight by your trying to attack viciously and take all heads. Snap. Well, I can't target anything else, but I suggest I, I feel like that means that the scorpion would have done 10 damage to me on its own. This time I can put up 8 block and... Oh, this can come wider. Oh, you're dealing damage to me now, too, I see. Ow. Let's finish this wider. Oh, you're dazed. You're only dazed? Are you kidding? Oh, snap, exposed. In fact, I saw this lot will receive times three to their value. Oh, but that means the rider's gonna get back up. Ah, nuts. Ah, nuts! you're boosted. Okay. Okay, this is dangerous. Five times two. I need to put up a bunch of block. There we go. Attack the scorpion for a bit. Attack the rider for a bit. Put up enough block to delete all of that damage. Okay. Things are going well so far. It's gonna be a rough fight, though. Okay. 11 block. I won't. But I'll hit the rider first. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and that completely deleted the scorpion's attack. Good to know. That's very good to know.
crushing it in the damage department. Put that up so that I'll heal. And I'll put that one out there so that I'll roll another attack die. Hopefully. Okay. Things are going well, I'd say, but this is going to be a long boss fight. That. Oh, but you're gonna boost it again. Oh, heck. Consider this a phase three. all of that? Oh, no. I'm doomed. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm dead here. I think I'm dead here. Yeah. Or taste defeat for the first time. Oh no. More enemies, bigger bosses. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Oh. I should have taken advantage of the survival kit more often. Hmm. Well, we're only an hour in. Let's give it another go. Alright, I know how to beat you. Six damage, straight to the face. Be dead! Yet, a new die. Basic glass mirror die. Let's try a glass terrain die. Didn't uh, get to see this in the last one. Want me to refresh your memory on how enemies with modifiers work? No. Down on the board, pop it to three, put up three block. That's uh dang, I can't attack. Yep, terrain valley plus three. And finish you off and put up enough block to deal with the other one. Slowly ticks down. That's to be expected. Hmm. I can block, heal all of that, avoid the damage. Next turn. That's it. Get a new deck. Silver Hollow Mirror Die, Basic Glass Prism Die, Basic Block Dice. Let's go for a Silver Hollow Mirror Die. Already looking pretty good there. Nope. Uh, let's try. Him. It's a th it's a three plus, huh? Which 
means I have pretty good odds here. No! Bombs. It seems like the soldier died before you could do anything. Dang. Ouch. That hurts. Tasty modifier. When kill will deal two damage to a random enemy. Oh. I get a new die. Let's try new die. Basic glass frame die. Basic attack. Basic glass heal die. Another glass terrain die. Maybe this is the build that will work with it. Maybe not. Maybe this is altogether far too difficult. I will on any turn. saying something because prologue was already incredibly dangerous.
3 damage to a random enemy for every 6 dice used. Dice with a value of 1 cost no energy. Interesting. Hmm. I can make all 1 pip dice hollow. That might actually help this build out a lot. attack at all, then... But I can't block. Oh well. HP this time. Maybe that will help. Let's try something of value. We'll get some dice. You gotta be kidding me! Seems like you are not the only one roaming this place. Oh, great. Oh, great. Ugh. I mean, it's bound to happen at some point. And if it's anything like the, the if it's if it if it's anything like the event in prologue, then it'll be good. Quite good. Finish you off. Put up for a while. Still gonna take damage. Ow. This can block all of their attacks, and I'm going to Yeah. It's not quite enough. But it's the 
best I've got. Got me puzzled. Here you have to do X amount of damage before you can cause something to change the action that it takes. Oh dear. You know what? This seems like a good chance to heal. Or it would have been if I was about to take a ton of damage. Choose a new relic. Ring at the coin. All dice receive plus one to their value on odd turns and minus one on even turns. Interesting. Chainstone. Who's 
Today's swing game from Fast Run Boost Valley with all available targets to be tough dice on. Interesting. This could be the value I need. Dying soldier, begging for water. Try to heal him. Wait. Yeah, only a one in six chance to fail. You've gotta be kidding me! That's only a one in 36 chance for that to happen. Two, two times I run into that event in a row. Quick cast modifier. The enemy will act before the player. What? I gotta deal three damage to me before I can do anything about it. Ow! Oh, man, really? Yeah. Ow. Ow! Unfair. I mean, a lot of the time you can't do something about it, but now you really can't do something about it. carried over, then that would be reasonable, but it doesn't. At least, I, I, maybe there's a flash back in. That should happen Now that's something else. have to have the flash die in your deck before and then you have to get it every oh. it doesn't make sense Drops me the wrong way. Oh, what could have motivated that design?
I'm not wrong, right? It doesn't carry over between turns? It doesn't. Why? I mean, I can block it this time, because I happen to have a four block dice. With flash. There's no point in putting a block otherwise. Ow! And, and that cancels out the thing because it, the flash die disappears and... Oh uh, my gosh. I can't... I literally can't play to my strength here. My one strength. Single relic here. Because I can't do anything about that. Spiderwebs are blocking the way forward. Entangled mess curse. Slash through the webs. Alright, with precise and swift sword swings, you manage to clear your way out of the room. Checking to see if you have enough dice. Not like the combat does that already, anyway. Ouch, ouch. This would literally be a down a down. No! No! Come on! I mean, I should have figured, but come on! Yeah, whatever. I'm I'm done with this for now. See you next time.